friends, welcome to Ayurpreneur Academy YouTube channel. I am Ayurpreneur Academy, the Ayurveda School of Entrepreneurship. I am Dr. Vivekan Mohan Kuroli, founder of Ayurpreneur Academy and Ayurpreneur Lifestyle Hub on a mission to help 100,000 Ayurveda professionals to achieve and live entrepreneurial lifestyle to accomplish social significance, professional significance, financial abundance and time freedom using my Ayurpreneur Business Model, Ayurpreneur Business Master and Ayurpreneur Business Empire. So, if you... I am on a mission, as I am on a mission, I am speaking about the entrepreneurship in Ayurveda and how Ayurveda can be used to make successful entrepreneurship. So, to be a successful entrepreneurship, you need to have multiple sources of income. That is what the even Western world believes. The Western world says that if, if you want to be a successful person, you need to have multiple sources of income. At least seven sources of income are advocated by the Western world. The same we can take it from the seven horses of the sun which also reflect the same they give the same message that the sun being the source of energy and he carry his his fertile chariot is being run by the seven horses that nothing but the seven source of income so the seven ayurpreneurial what you call the verticals what i what our ayurpreneur academy has identified they are the number one is the what you call the integrative medical practice because integrative medical practice is going to be the one of the most what you call the blooming sector in the health health or arena number two vertical can be the ayurveda wellness center and number three can be the online coaching both using ayurveda knowledge both for the students both for, for the even patients and building the community number four vertical can be the ayurveda startups like the, you can have the pharmacies, you can have the equipment manufacturing and device manufacturing and OTC products, patent products, proper, pro, pro, proprietary medicines and fast moving consumer goods. Then number five is Ayurveda tech driven businesses. Number six is the Ayurveda farming and number seven is Ayurveda research and publications. So let us see what are the each, each of them in detail so what do you mean by integrative medical practice integrative medical practice is the treating the patient as a whole it is a holistic it is also called as a holistic medicine okay so conventional medicine is medical conventional medical practice is the western medical science that is allopathic medicine other than that all are called as alternative medicines and when you combine all of them then it becomes an integrative medicine now the western world is looking towards the personalized medicine or the what you call the uh, functional medicine holistic medicine so that the patients are now being treated as a whole rather than the compartmental wise system wise or the organ wise so the what is the global personalized medicine market is it's going to be 3466 million us dollar by the 2024 means by this year so it, it in a cumulative growth rate of 11.9 percent which it was 1577 million us dollar in the year 2017 okay the 37 billion in dollar will be the integrative medicine market itself 37 billion us dollar it will be by 2035 it will be 37 billion dollars so you can understand what is what how much lucrative area it is so when we are being an ayurveda doctors being ayurveda professionals we have got a better edge to what to integrate the all the ultra uh, allied sciences alternative medicine sciences systems and uh, ayush systems of medicine to in to cater the health what to call the services so what is looking after and the integrate in, in the name of the integrative medicine you can take the health, you can combine the allopathy, Ayurveda, Yoga, Siddha, Yunani, Homeopathy, Acupuncture, Acupressure, Marma Therapy, Naturopathy, everything you can combine and you can make your own what you call the integrative medicine practice. So, global precision medicine, it is also, it can also be called as precision medicine market. So, global precision medicine is, market is going to be 86.25 billion US dollar by the year 2025 and it is also called as regenerative medicine see different names have been used with, with a different purpose but ultimately it sums out sums, sums down to 
using ayurveda medicine and other alternative medicines to give a holistic treat care for the patients so the regenerative medicine market is also expected to grow okay by 1,51,949.5 million US dollar by the year 2026. Okay, so at the cumulative then the Asia Pacific and Australia continent is going to have 6,009.9 million US dollar business at the end of 2026. So the cumulative you can see the cumulative growth rate is 16.8 percent that means how fast it is growing so the this the complementary and alternative medicine or the integrative medicine this is going to boom so we need as ayurveda people we need to look into this particular lucrative vertical vertical of ayurpreneurship proposed by ayurpreneur academy it is proposing ayurpreneur academy is proposing this particular article since 2022 and this is the, the we are the first to uh, what to call the uh, promote this and uh, uh, direct guide the IL the IL doctors to look into this which is uh, most important which is going to give us a lot of abundant of money okay and the global regenerative medicine market is also growing with an 16.3 CAGR by 2030 and by 2030 39,000 12 million US dollar will be the market size so earlier it was called as alternative medicine the first time it is 1972 the name has been used as an alternative medicine then the, as the uh, at the years have advanced when the western world started knowing that the complete it, it can it the holistic medicine approach is required then it has come up come down to uh, in 1994 the integrative medicine center was first set up and then it was included in the bigger councils and you can see there by in it has been now named as in 2014 the congress of integrative medicine has named it as a national center for complementary and integrative health national national center for complementary and integrative health so this even the who has set up world traditional medicine center in what to jamnagar and that happens to be the uh, what to call the uh, directional what you call the uh, uh, a call where we need to look into the whole globe is look toward looking towards india for all this complementary medicines and the, that same has been proposed by the ayurpreneur academy and in ayurpreneur academy in ayurpreneur lifestyle hub if our community community member sets the milestones and the success, success milestones which we prescribe for taking the integrative medicine into an, into an entrepreneurship we will be calling, we will be certifying them as Ayurpreneur Integrative Silhote. Ayurpreneur Integrative Silhote. Because ultimately, looking at the big size of this integrative medicine, okay, we need to think about the integrative medicine. So, there are different types of medicines have been named that is conventional medicine. As Western world is proposing it, the conventional medicine for them is the allopathy medicine. Okay, unfortunately, India, the Ayurveda should have been the conventional medicine, but it's not the case and alternative medicine means other than the what you call the conventional medicine all of them they will be considered under the what you call the all are considered under the alternative medicines okay then complementary medicine is when it combines the conventional method medicine and the alternative medicine that is called as complementary medicine functional medicine means it will be only taking care of the functional derailments der derangements and it will be dealing with them and integrative medicine is taking the patient, thinking the patient as a whole and approach uh, and taking care of all the uh, whole, uh, what you call the, the physical, mental, functional and structural, whatever the anomalies are there, that all will be taken care of by the integrative medicine. So that is the first vertical of the seven ayurpreneurship that is integrative medical practice. Now, second is the Ayurveda Wellness Center. Already you people are aware that Ayurveda wellness centers are making lot of noise and the whole world, even foreign tourist, the medical tourism, what you call tourism is taking place and thanks to the Aish, Ministry of Aish, it is promoting Heal in India, Heal by India and all those programs will fetch the foreigners for the this Ayurveda, pure Ayurveda practice. So pure Ayurveda practice or Ayurveda global market is going to be 12 point sorry 21.12 billion us dollar by the year 2028 okay at the 
CAGR of 15.63%. So, Aish is promoting the same thing, health and wellness centers using all these Aish sectors of the medicine. So, you can this whatever the, the concept of a pure delivering the pure Ayurvedic medicine that makes you into a micro niche. You will be creating your own blue ocean from where the patient can easily uh, get means uh, they, they can easily means uh, access you, they can easily notice you and by that you can get the patients and the healthy even the people who want to in, improve their health even healthy individuals can also come to you for the wellness center that's why it should be named as Ayurveda wellness center so the people who will be practicing purely Ayurveda without any clubbing anything that can go to the, 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 the that is the second vertical of the Ayurpreneurship and the now the global spa market is also blooming and global, global spa market is you can see there it is going to be 153.5 US billion dollar business by the year 2030 okay so that is the the spa market is nothing but the panchakarma it can be repackaged rebranded as a spa and it can you can look into that area also to set up your own what you call the panchakarma center or the wellness center which can you will be the you can be the major player by the end of the 2030 which is with the bigger the great market size of 153.5 billion us dollar and being in being from india will be considered will be taken seriously and the law of what you call the leadership comes into action in the brand and law of perception will persuasion will come into action because when ayurveda comes from india and then it will be considered as more authentic because ayurveda happens to be the from the indian soil okay so any of our entrepreneur lifestyle hub member okay who will achieve as a milestone which has been set by the community uh, to for the being considering them as a successful in their particular milestone though then they will be called as entrepreneur star vaidya they will be certified as entrepreneur star vaidya and that is the second vertical what uh, you need to look into entrepreneurship when it comes to using ayurveda okay so ayurveda wellness center number third one is the ayurveda online coaching so online coaching is booming after covid post covid online coaching is booming and coaching means it is like a mentoring coaching and mentoring is now that is the what the western world has started last uh, way back but in indian scenario in indian system what you call the social conditions the education system is now transforming and everything now the all the learners are looking for online learning online coaching so the online or the coaching can be used for training the students for for training the foreigners giving the certificate with the diploma courses certification courses online courses and for patients also you can give an educative what to call the program and you can establish your authority okay so this particular online coaching is again that the market size you can look into the market size here that is global online coaching platform market is going to grow at the rate of 13.03 percent to reach 4567.42 million us dollar okay so you can think now it is in 2020 which was 1938.39 us dollar million us dollar before means during the covid or starting of the covid now after the covid it has surged up and to 2028 it is going to be a threefold increase in that and by that the pay, you can make use of this online coaching for your patients for your what you call students so online education market prediction again the same another data is there 2031 it will be around 729.1 billion us dollar with the rate of 12.33 percent cagr okay now you can see the difference earlier it was predicted that online market online learning online coaching was before the covid left side you can see here this this, this is data which was a prediction made before covid by 2021 it was expected to be okay 92 million but after covid it had changed the scenario 189 million what you call the learners are accessing so the business at present is 2.85 billion us dollar 
okay that is global industry for what you call the online coaching so online coaching can be done even for the foreign country means you can reach the whole globe your your community can be at whole globe so all of you the all the ayurveda consultants faculties or the doctors who want to teach you can look into this another side hustle of the teaching the ayurveda for healthy life and the teaching the ayurveda for the professionals to practice ayurveda okay so those people who will be achieving the the milestone set by ayurveda lifestyle hub community they will be in the coaching in the online coaching of the ayurveda they will be called as ayurveda coach recorder they will be certified as ayurveda coach recorder so that is the what you call the third vertical third what you call the ayurpreneurship that you can look into fourth ayurpreneurship is all the ayurveda startups okay ayurveda startups now ayurveda startups whatever if you google ayurveda startups are more they are centralized towards the medicine and pharmacies and the fmcgs that is fast moving consumer goods so all the data which are which are appears that comes into these sectors only but startups can be other than this also or startup can be medical devices also startup can be punch card devices also startup can be the parasurgical devices also okay so startup whichever will be supporting the ayurvedic medical practice all uh, in the form of either medicine in the form of other devices or in the form of some instruments or the, all of them or in the form of some apps all of them they come in the startups and you can see now whatever data it is here this is more of a fmcg or medicines so that's the data is even in that the growth rate is 15.63% cagr is there and it is expected that by 2029 28.21 us billion dollar will be the market size of the what to call our ayurvedic as well as ayurvedic as well as the traditional medicine market okay so here when this meds again the market size as i told this market size you remember because this is going to be there 2020 by 2028 21.12 us billion dollar uh, are the, is the market size so different researches different uh, surveys they have given different data but almost they they are nearby almost 15.63 age uh, 63% is the average cagr around 13 to 16 around 13 to 16 percent cagr is the average from all the uh, mar- what is the market researchers okay so you can see here also the indian ayurvedic products in the if in inr if you want to know in the in indian national currency then it is 1824 billion inr will be 2028 the market size at the rate of 19.5 percent so highest is the 19.5 percent cagr and lowest is the 13.5 cagr that means it will be around 15 to 60% of cagr so the majority of the uh, this uh, ayurveda uh, sector the market size is ruled by the food sections that's why, that's why the ayush has come up with with ayurveda ahara ayurveda ahara startups so you can start with ayurveda ahara startups that is foods 23% is the major what is the market size which the fmcg is covering then hair care hair care what you call the uh, products in 18% health supplements 16% oral care 16% otc and ethicals 10% home care 7% digestive 6% and skin care 4% so on this you can medicare medi medi circle is the one which i come across which i came across and this happens to be a very good platform to understand or come to know what are the innovations are taking place in the medical science sector okay so you can visit that medicare and medicircle and you can get the lot of ideas about the starting up your own startup your own startup using ayurveda that happens to be the fourth vertical of our seven verticals of ayurpreneurship so if any ayurpreneur lifestyle hub member achieves a particular milestone he launches his own startup he will be called as ayurpreneur startup frat he will be called as ayurpreneur startup frat he will be will be certifying him as an ayurpreneur startup frat okay ayurpreneur startup frat then fifth vertical fifth vertical can be the ayurveda tech driven businesses ayurveda tech driven businesses now we it is a need of the hour to blend ayurveda and the technology it's a need of the hour so without technology you cannot advance you cannot become 
globally reachable or globally acceptable so for that reason if you are technically savvy okay you 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 you, you are more, you are more passionate towards the technology and you know the technology and the, and being an ayurveda person knowing technology that gives an extra edge that gives an advantage that gives you a lot of power to race ahead of the rest of the all the ayurveda what you call the verticals so you can use the technology in ayurveda and ayurveda and technology in case of biotechnology you can use biotechnology for ayurveda what you call the uh, startups information technology then medical devices and equipment development for that also you can use technology ayurveda education as i told online coaching that you can use technology as i am using technology to teach online with using all the device the, all the system setups and then pharmaceuticals you can make your own what you call the tech divide driven some of the innovations which can give you an extra edge advantage to go for nurturing your passion at the same time serving for ayurveda and making a lot of money through ayurveda so digital marketing is the another one booming now and it will remain another 10 20 years for now onwards because digital marketing happens to be the most acceptable most easiest most cheaper and more better and most fastest what you call the marketing so everybody will be especially either the pharmacies either the business all the best, what you call the uh ecosystem all spokes of all the eco the ecosystems they will be looking for the digital marketing so if you are uh, good in technology you can start your own digital marketing what you call the uh, entrepreneurship okay so the digital market health market digital health market growth the, the, the market size is okay digital health market size is now in the 2019 it was 106 billion us dollar okay but it is expected to grow within a CAGR of 28.5% to reach 639.4 billion US dollar by 2026. Okay, so major players are where the major sections where it will be booming will be app segment. The apps have become more user friendly. So all apps, okay, health related apps are more booming because where 38.9% will be what you call the market uh, will be grabbed by the app segment whereas 26.2 percent will be grabbed by the telehealth care segment by 2026 with a uh, huge what you call it growth of uh, the tel digital health market by 28.5 percent uh, what CAGR okay and uh, the business the hardware segment will be Great, more than 31 billion US dollar, whereas health analytics segment will be 9.7 more than 9.7 US billion dollar. Okay, so <clears throat> what what made this particular uh, digital health market to grow? The main reason is a rise in the prevalence of chronic disease. Okay, surge in penetration of uh, smartphones and internet. Okay, and uh, healthcare information system is booming up and dominant market share during the what you call the forecast period is <coughs> ruled by the what you call the digital market okay digital platforms not only marketing digital platforms you can use telemedicines is telemedicine is now booming up okay so that will help and advantage why the opportunity you need to make up or take the opportunity is there is increase in the adaptation of the cloud based systems and advancement in the healthcare it infrastructure so because of that it is growing so even the variable healthcare devices market is growing with a cagr of 8.60 percent 8.60 percent and this is expected to reach by 25072 plus million US dollar okay that is already in 2020 it has been calculated and it is going to grow at the rate of CAGR 8.60 up to by 2029 so already lot of more than 106 startups in, have been identified in different sector of the health which are already functioning and they are already running business with success okay so the what are the sex segments you can see here segments are let me increase the size the segments are <coughs> the segments the patient patient data and risk analytics the data science has become very what to call the more what to call the uh, trending and more what to call the in demand uh, 
uh, sector because of that you can the marketing has the marketing dimensions have changed the marketing from any for any business the dimension has changed because of the data science so the patient data and risk analytics are helping the ai okay because alternate uh, this what you call the <coughs> artificial intelligence 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 it works on the data so the patient data and risk analytics the sector is there which you can look for then research area is there where using ai you can start make your own what you call the startups and medical imaging and diagnostic section sector is there where you can start your startups using ai mental health already is working on and drug discoveries there you, you can use ai and technology and virtual assistants okay then wearables as i told then miscellaneous and the inpatient care and hospital management emergency room and what you call surgery nutrition lifestyle management and monitoring so in all these areas you can use ai you can start your own startup with using technology like apps and other devices so that your passion for technology will also be served or to be nurtured at the same time you will be contributing for ayurveda grow ayurveda growth as well as you will be growing with as an entrepreneur not rather, rather than only being a, what you call the clinician clinician with your gp general practice okay let me reduce the size okay next <coughs> so the in ayurpreneur lifestyle hub community in life in ayurpreneur lifestyle hub community anybody who will achieve will they start their own startup using the technology they will be called as ayurpreneur tech genie they will be awarded as certified as ayurpreneur tech genie okay that is how the ayurpreneur lifestyle hub is designed and ayurpreneur academy has got this curriculum to teach so the ayurpreneur academy will be teaching all these things how to achieve all this okay so sixth vertical is ayurveda farming or agriculture okay so <clears throat> you can see now everybody is looking for the organic one so ayurveda farming and agriculture means it doesn't mean that only the the crops or the herb herbs even the animal origin products like honey bee gomutra okay paravata vist all of them can be used for what you call the supply you can supply all of them and you can become the supplier a very authentic uh, raw material supplier if you become then this is going to boom okay your whole financial what to call the uh, whole financial your picture will change so herbal global ayurvedic herbs market is going to be 26.1 billion us dollar by the year of 2028 this prediction it is prediction that herbal ayurvedic herbs ayurvedic herbs market okay ayurvedic herb market itself will be 26.1 billion us dollar by the year 2028 with an cagr of 10.8 percent so if you have got a lot of fields and uh, you are from agricultural background i recommend you to go for ayurveda farming you can do honey farming also honey bee farming because even <coughs> global honey market is growing growing with a cagr of 4.8% and it is expected by the 2025 to reach 10338 million us dollar okay and even gomutra which is widely used in all the most of the ayurvedic medicines you if you make a dairy farm where the multiple products of the cow like you the it can give multiple resources for you the milk the uh, what you call the cow dung as well as the cow urine but the urine happens to be the most required by the authentic and the desi what you call the uh, guy go mutra is going to be uh, it will give an advantage for you to look for this lucrative area also where you need not to invest anything already if you have got a field already you have got your family members to work along with you only need to guide them and see that what can be grown in your field and what can be farm farming can be done in your particular area so the person the ayurvedic ayurpreneur lifestyle hub member who will achieve this particular fleet of uh, successful an agricultural what you call the milestone then he or he or she will be named or certified as ayurpreneur agri halk ayurpreneur agri halk so that is the sixth one okay and the seventh one is seventh one is the 
ಆಯುರ್ವೇದ ರಿಸರ್ಚ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಪಬ್ಲಿಕೇಶನ್ಸ್ ಆಯುರ್ವೇದ ರಿಸರ್ಚ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಪಬ್ಲಿಕೇಶನ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಆಯುರ್ವೇದ ರಿಸರ್ಚ್ ಪಬ್ಲಿಕೇಶನ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಸಿ ದಟ್ ದ ದಟ್ ಹೋಲ್ ಹೆಲ್ತ್ ವಾಟ್ ಯು ಕಾಲ್ ದಿ ರಿಲೇಟೆಡ್ ಪಬ್ಲಿಷಿಂಗ್ ಮಾರ್ಕೆಟ್ ಸೈಜ್ ಇಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ರೀಚ್ಡ್ ಓಕೆ ಟೆನ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಒನ್ ಬಿಲಿಯನ್ ಯು ಎಸ್ ಡಾಲರ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಇಯರ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ತ್ರೀ ಓಕೆ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಲುಕಿಂಗ್ ಫಾರ್ವರ್ಡ್ ಟು ಗ್ರೋ ಬೈ ತರ್ಟೀನ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಫೈವ್ ಬಿಲಿಯನ್ ಯು ಎಸ್ ಡಾಲರ್ ಬೈ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ತರ್ಟಿ ಟು ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಇನ್ಕ್ಲೂಡ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಮೆಡಿಕಲ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ದ ಗ್ಲೋಬಲ್ ಮೆಡಿಕಲ್ ಪಬ್ಲಿಷಿಂಗ್ ಈಸ್ ದಿ ಅಲೋಪತಿ ಬುಕ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಮೇಜಾರಿಟಿ ದ ಮೇಜರ್ ಪ್ಲೇಯರ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿ ಅಲೋಪತಿಕ್ ಮೆಡಿಸಿನ್ ಬುಕ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ದ ಅನ್ಫಾರ್ಚುನೇಟ್ಲಿ ಅನ್ಫಾರ್ಚುನೇಟ್ಲಿ ದಿ ಆಯುರ್ವೇದ ಓಕೆ ಆಯುರ್ವೇದ ಈಸ್ ಲ್ಯಾಕಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಓಕೆ ಯು 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 ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಕಂಡಕ್ಟ್ ದಿ ರಿಸರ್ಚಸ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಯುವರ್ ಓನ್ ರಿಸರ್ಚ್ ಯೂನಿಟ್ಸ್ ವೇರ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಡೂ ದಿ ಕ್ಲಿನಿಕಲ್ ರಿಸರ್ಚ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿ ಪ್ರೊಡಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಅದರ್ ಥರ್ಡ್ ಪಾರ್ಟಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಗಿವ್ ದಿ ರಿಪೋರ್ಟ್ ಕ್ಲಿನಿಕಲ್ ರಿಪೋರ್ಟ್ ಬೈ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಮೇಕ್ ವಾಟ್ ಯು ಯುವರ್ ಕರಿಯರ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಅ ರಿಸರ್ಚರ್ ಸೊ ರಿಸರ್ಚರ್ ನಿನ್ ನಾಟ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಗೌರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಅಪ್ ವಾಟ್ ಯುವರ್ ಗೌರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಸೆಕ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ರಿಸರ್ಚರ್ ಇನ್ ಆನ್ ಯುವರ್ ಪರ್ಸ್ನಲ್ಲಿ ಆನ್ ಯುವರ್ ಪ್ರೈವೇಟ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಯುವರ್ ಓನ್ ರಿಸರ್ಚ್ ವಾಟ್ ಯು ಕಾಲ್ ದಿ ಯುನಿಟ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ರಿಜಿಸ್ಟರ್ ವಿತ್ ದಿ ಎಥಿಕಲ್ ಬಾಡೀಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಫುಲ್ಫಿಲ್ ಆಲ್ ದಿ ಕಂಪ್ಲೈನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಲಾ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಗೆಟ್ ರೆಕಗ್ನೈಸೇಷನ್ ರೆಕಗ್ನೇಷನ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಅನ್ ಅಥೆಂಟಿಕ್ ರಿಸರ್ಚ್ ಸೆಂಟರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಕಂಡಕ್ಟ್ ಕ್ಲಿನಿಕಲ್ ಟ್ರಯಲ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಈಸ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಗಟ್ ಅ ಗುಡ್ ಫಂಕ್ಷನಿಂಗ್ ಹಾಸ್ಪಿಟಲ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಯುವರ್ ಓನ್ ಕ್ಲಿನಿಕಲ್ ಟ್ರಯಲ್ ಸೆಂಟರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಫಿಲ್ ಪ್ರಿನ್ಸಿಪಲ್ ಇನ್ವೆಸ್ಟಿಗೇಟರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಬೈ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಟೇಕ್ ಕಾಂಟ್ರಾಕ್ಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಔಟ್ಸೋರ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಕೇಟರ್ ಯುವರ್ ಸರ್ವಿಸ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಅ ರಿಸರ್ಚರ್ ವೆನ್ ಯುವರ್ ತರ್ಡ್ ಪಾರ್ಟಿ ಆಲ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಫಾರ್ಮಸ್ಟಿಕಲ್ ಕಂಪ್ನೀಸ್ ದೇ ಪ್ರಿಪೇರ್ ದೇರ್ ಓನ್ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ಟಿ ಮೆಡಿಸಿನ್ ಫಾಸ್ಟ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಟು ಸಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ಕ್ಲಿನಿಕಲ್ ಟ್ರಯಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಟೇಕ್ ದ ಟ್ರಯಲ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಚಾರ್ಜ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಗಿವ್ ದಿ ಜೆನ್ಯುನ್ ರಿಪೋರ್ಟ್ ಗಿವ್ ದಿ ಅಥೆಂಟಿಕ್ ರಿಪೋರ್ಟ್ ಸೊ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಯುವರ್ ಸೆಂಟರ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ವಾಟ್ ರೇಟೆಡ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಅನ್ ಅಥೆಂಟಿಕ್ ಸೆಂಟರ್ ಫಾರ್ ಫ್ಯೂಚರ್ ಗ್ರೋತ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಬೈ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಒನ್ ಯು ಬಿಕಮ್ ಅ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡರ್ಡ್ ವಾಟ್ ಯು ಕಾಲ್ ಸೆಂಟರ್ ಇವನ್ ಫಾರನ್ ಆಲ್ ದಿ ಮಲ್ಟಿ ನ್ಯಾಷನಲ್ ಕಂಪ್ನೀಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಆರ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಆಯುರ್ ವಿಚ್ ಆರ್ ಕಮಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಆಯುರ್ವೇದಿಕ್ ಡ್ರಗ್ ಮ್ಯಾನುಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಚರಿಂಗ್ ದೇ ವಿಲ್ ರೀಚ್ ಔಟ್ ಟು ಯು ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿಕಮ್ ದಿ ಸಕ್ಸಸ್ಫುಲ್ ಆಂಟ್ರಪ್ರನೋರ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ರಿಸರ್ಚ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಪಬ್ಲಿಕೇಶನ್ ಏರಿಯಾ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ದ ರಿಸರ್ಚ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ದ ಪಬ್ಲಿಕೇಶನ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ದಿ ರಿಸರ್ಚ್ ಆರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಪಬ್ಲಿಷ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ವೆಲ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ದಿ ವಾಟ್ ಯು ಕಾಲ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಟೇಕ್ ಅಪ್ ದಿ ರಿಸರ್ಚ್ ವಾಟ್ ಯು ಕಾಲ್ ದಿ ಕ್ಲಿನಿಕಲ್ ಟ್ರಯಲ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ಸ್ ಟು ದಿ ಗೌರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಂಡಿಯಾ ದಟ್ ದ ಪಿ ಎಮ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಗಾಟ್ ಅ ಮಿಷನ್ ಟು ಮೇಕ್ ಆಯುರ್ವೇದ ಅ ಗ್ಲೋಬಲ್ ಹೆರಿಟೇಜ್ ಸೊ ವೆನ್ ದ ಪಿ ಎಮ್ ಈಸ್ ವಿತ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಮಿಷನ್ ವೆನ್ ದ ಗ್ಲೋಬಲ್ ಹೆರಿಟೇಜ್ ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಮೇಕ್ ಆಯುರ್ವೇದ ಗ್ಲೋಬಲ್ ಹೆರಿಟೇಜ್ ದ ಪೀಪಲ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ಕಮಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಯು ದೇ ವಿಲ್ ದೇ ವಿಲ್ ಸರ್ಚ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಎಸ್ಪೆಷಲಿ ದಿಸ್ ಮೆಸೇಜ್ ಇಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿ ಟು 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 ಅಟ್ರ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ದಿ ರೆಸ್ಟ
and e-books and print books you can do okay that will be distributed across the 14 nations okay and uh, ne some if you are if you want to be in the indian market because amazon or kindle direct publication is the physical copies are not uh, what you call the printed in the india so for indians only e-books will be available they are a bit, they are going to come up but till as long as it takes time if you want to if you are in a hurry to publish your books okay you can be an independent publisher the traditional publication has gone now the days have gone you need not to go for a printing press or some other publisher and you request for them and then you need to buy a thousand copies or like that if you want to independently publish or you need if you want to go for some publisher he will be at a at a minimum uh, you need to compromise with the cost okay so you can directly publish to overcome all these problems you need not to store the books if you want to publish independently as a traditional one in the in this traditional pattern and you need not to beg the publisher okay you can independently publish directly online uh, some presses like notion press clever fox all these presses they are offering of what you call the independent do it yourself for publications so on that platform also you can do where these can provide your physical copies in the india okay in the indian geography okay so researches can be done so if any of the entrepreneur lifestyle hub member becomes the successful what to call in this journey of research and publications then entrepreneur author azail he will be called as entrepreneur author, author azail so entrepreneur academy has identified these seven what to call the these seven uh, verticals for let me okay let us it these seven verticals that is integrative medical practice then ayurveda wellness center then what to call the ayurveda online coaching then what to call the ayurveda startups then ayurveda tech, technology driven businesses ayurveda agri farming as well as the publications and research okay so now ayurveda academy for that only ha, this why the ayurveda academy has been made was to address these seven these seven verticals and make the our ayurveda professionals be entrepreneur using either of these seven okay so for that the ayurveda academy created ayurveda lifestyle hub community where it is a membership can be acquired through buying the courses which are meant to train all the other professionals to achieve any of these seven vertical so ayurveda business model is the silver membership course is a flagship course where it will be giving the concepts the concepts of these seven verticals how these con how these things can be thought over and what how they can be finalized the niche for niche clarity and the what are exactly these verticals how they function how what we need to uh, i mean so learn to achieve that fleet so for all those things all those concepts have been discussed in the silver membership and gold membership where the skill set how to execute how to execute become to become an successful entrepreneur of any of this seven vertical if you based on your dedication based on your commitment based on your learning because all these courses will be having pre recorded courses pre recorded video courses along with that there will be inner circle calls weekly inner circle calls will be there weekly one to means group coaching will be there and in that question answer sessions will be there doubts will be cleared and by that a continuous coaching and continuous nurturing of our ayurveda community members ayurveda lifestyle hub members will be taking will be doing and by that the we help the ayurveda professionals to achieve that entrepreneurial journey whatever they decide out of the seven or even they can go for multiple also but one at a one time okay so with that intention if they start this particular these three level of courses will take care to take from your point a to point b okay so point a is at your present status what where you are and if you are not as an entrepreneur if you are not using ayurveda in any of these seven areas and you are not if you are not making lot of money if you are not establishing your authority then ayurveda academy can help you with ayurveda business model ayurveda business mastery and ayurveda business empire so that is from point a present status to your desired state so your desired state is you need to be an successful entrepreneur who will be setting up an ecosystem of ayurvedic entrepreneurship where you will be making 
a recurring income which you whatever you desire at, and by that you will be enjoying social significance professional significance financial abundance and time freedom so in the gold membership which is entrepreneur business mastery what you call skill sets will be taught and trained so that you can easily achieve that entrepreneurship or you can start up your entrepreneurship and in business entrepreneur business empire it is a diamond membership where when you are launched it from there you need to scale it up you need to scale up for that the entrepreneur business empire will be there so that you can scale your business so this with this concept the entrepreneur academy has been formulated and entrepreneur lifestyle hub has been formulated so if you resonate with these seven verticals if you are really interested to join our entrepreneur lifestyle hub community then you can visit our entrepreneur lifestyle hub website okay there you can have the membership all the details are there and you can take now only the vip bronze membership is available and vip uh, entrepreneur silver membership is available so i request all of you to go to directly entrepreneur silver membership and i am offering it at a very discounted price the 90% discount price okay and uh, i th i think that uh, you people should join the entrepreneur lifestyle hub together we can grow okay together i i have started my entrepreneur journey by creating this course that is what i am doing i am becoming the entrepreneur coach recorner i am i am i am becoming the entrepreneur coach recorner as i told you the third vertical of entrepreneurship that is online coaching of the ayurveda so i am doing the career guidance now i am doing the career guidance of the ayurveda for our ayurveda friends students or the doctors private school teachers and the ayurveda female doctors who have turned to be homemakers i want to help all of you and if you start journey with me definitely you will be transformed from a mediocre lifestyle to the abundance lifestyle so thank you for watching this video i would like to request you to visit my website our website arpan lifestyle hub and avail the discount what we are giving and you will be you will be appreciating yourself you will be thanking yourself once you come into the community and learning all those things okay you will be you will be uh, feeling good for investing in yourself and taking the first step to transform yourself to a successful entrepreneur in the ayurveda okay and at the same time i request you to subscribe to my video this is youtube channel ayurpreneur academy and uh, join our ayurpreneur academy facebook and uh, share as many as many means all the friends whoever you know so that they can also join our community and together we can become the very vibrant and empowered army of ayurveda professionals so that we need not to beg for any favorism from the i hope you understand okay so thank you for watching this one and see you in the next